Hey guys, you already know it's the one and only Miss Juicy Baby from Little Women Atlanta. Well, as you know, we all have been quarantined to this house. Because of this coronavirus and stuff going on, we all got to stay healthy. People are bored at the house, so you guys know what I'm doing. I'm trying to stay healthy even though the gym is closed. But sometimes you got to do improvise. You know, use things that you have around the house to work out, stay healthy, get your vitamins, and eat healthy. If anything, make sure you eat healthy. Well, in eating healthy, it don't necessarily got to be nasty or anything, but I know a lot of people at home during this time, they're eating up the whole damn kitchen. But I tell you guys what, I'm going to tell you a good way where you can still eat healthy, eat some little snacks on the side and everything. Well, what I'm doing today is making some brownies. Derek, don't take it the wrong way. They are vegan brownies. So it's black bean vegan brownies what I'm going to make. I got this from the Warrior Lifestyle Program that I'm doing right now. It tastes great. All right? So black bean brownies, you got to have all your ingredients. I have my black beans. I have my bacon powder. I also have my flaxseed meal. That's because I'm making eggs. Here's your vegan eggs. Coconut oil, all the products. I'm using coconut oil, vanilla flavoring. I kind of cheated a little bit because I want a different taste. So I'm adding some vanilla butternut flavoring to it. But anyway, here are the little liners. Um, I'm also going to add some chocolate chips. And because the recipe calls for Splenda, I hate Splenda. So what I'm going to use instead of Splenda, I'm using coconut sugar. Anyway, what I'm first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So don't laugh at me. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, y'all, before I forget, look, I have my, I'm wearing this while I'm cook, cooking. This is the what waste belt. So I will be wearing this while I'm cooking, but I don't want to get stuff all on my belt, so I'm gonna put my put my apron on. And I'm going to climb on my stool so I can set the oven. In other words, I'm setting the oven, preheating the oven to 350. Remember what's going on with all the stuff going on. <coughs> I don't have visitors, so I ain't got to worry about people coming to my house. But I still got to be, I still got to be clean. I still got to wash my hands. You don't want to eat nasty. I'm using a brownie pan instead of a um, cupcake pan. I mean, you can use a muffin pan if you want. I'm so mad these things got... They don't have purple liners in them. I'm very upset. They got pink and yellow and blue and green. Every color except except my purple. I think they discriminate. What y'all think? So now that this is all done, so y'all can see, I'll turn it up. See? All done. Okay, so now I take the black beans and I rinse my black beans. So I need to drain them. Today we're using the organic black beans. Okay, y'all don't talk about my stool right there, okay? So I'm using my strainer. So I'm straining my black beans, as y'all can see. I'm going to help it out a little bit. The only reason what you're doing is getting as much of the juice off of the black beans as possible. So, get as much of the juice off of the black beans as much as possible. 
So I can be doing other stuff while that's happening, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is make my own eggs out of flax seeds, flax eggs. You said to replace one whole egg, you combine one tablespoon of egg replacement with two tablespoons of water. Mix well and let sit for one minute to thicken. So we need two eggs for these brownies, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to use, I'm going to use half of the egg replacement and half of the flax seeds to make my own egg, okay? Here we go. The egg replacement. I'm gonna do a level at a level tablespoon. So now I'm gonna take one little flaxseed, one tablespoon of flaxseed. So that's one, two, three. That's for the um, that's for the flaxseed. Now I need two for the egg replacements. Okay, there you go. There's your water. I think it's all blended. Oh my God, yes! Let me check. So now... It's a trip. They make eggs out of that. Have y'all ever heard of that before? First time for everything, huh? First time for everything. So anyway, now we got the egg mixture together. You're going to let it sit while it's sitting. I could be doing something else. The black beans, make sure they're drained as much as possible. And so I won't be dripping the juice all over my floor. I just, I'm just gonna transfer it into a bowl. The beans go first and then the coconut oil. So right now what I'm gonna do is add the coconut oil. I want the beans and then the coconut oil, okay? So we put the beans in the food processor. Once I add the beans in there, then I add the oil, the coconut oil. So I need three tablespoons of coconut oil. So now, as you can see, I'm adding the coconut oil. We have three tablespoons of coconut oil. One, two, three. This is a one and a half cup, so I don't need to fill this up. So, I just need one cup. Okay, I got my one cup. can see I'm not mixing it a lot because it's gonna be mixed good once I get everything in it but right now it's like real thick like fudge you know don't y'all like a good fudge brownie you know what I'm saying so now that I got the cocoa in there now it's time to add the vanilla now the recipe 
do call for. Y'all gotta understand I am short, so I have to get up and down, up and down, up and down I go. So it calls for one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. But I am going to kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to do one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of vanilla butternut. It gives a different flavor. Add a little bit of flavor to it. You know, from the bottom. Look at it. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be some good eating right there. Now, I will put one teaspoon of baking powder. So make sure your teaspoons are level. You don't want them unlevel, okay? So make sure they are level. So make sure y'all use the powder and not the soda. This is baking powder. And then one cup of sugar. Some people can stand the taste of Splenda. I can't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my coconut sugar instead. So while I'm getting this open, I'm going to go ahead and mix this. I can mix it on low. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm adding the coconut sugar. You can use whatever sugar, depending on how sweet you want it and how many calories you're trying to do. I'm thinking healthy, so I'm not trying to get all unhealthy. I'm not trying to use the regular stuff. So I'm using one cup of sugar. Don't this coconut sugar remind you of brown sugar? Well, the color is brown. Well, you want to make sure you measure it right. You don't want to overdo it. Remember the whole purpose of this is to still be, to still keep it healthy. So. Okay. That should be about a cup. Okay, there you go. Your sh coconut sugar. So now I'm going to add the water. You know what I'm saying? Now I can add the water, add the water, add the water. And how much water I need? I need one fourth cup of water. Here I go again, y'all. I'm going to take the camera with me this time so y'all can see the struggle. Whoops! There I go. There I go. There I go. And I'm going to get the water. One fourth cup of water. So, one third. One fourth. One fourth cup of water. And then I can go back. Here I go, y'all. Here I go. I'm going to put it down. Here I go. One, two, three. Woo! Shit! There I go. Add it again. Back at it again. Okay. Now, you know what? I can add this just like this. I ain't even gonna do this.
all that is done. Then now, only thing I have to do is fold in the chocolate chips. So only, I think I only need like a cup of chocolate chips. A half a cup, Lord Jesus, I said a cup. It really would have been too sweet. So anyway, I'm gonna take this over. I want all of my stuff out of here, so I am making sure I get this all good. Okay, now I have taken the bowl off and I'm gonna add half a cup of your chocolate chips to the mixture. Pour it in there. So I'm just gonna fold, you're not gonna mix it, you're gonna fold the chocolate chips in. So while I fold the chips in, I keep it in here because it's easier for me to do. Make sure these are ready. Let that sit for a minute. So what I'm gonna do is get a spoon, take a spoon. You don't wanna fill it all the way up, just remember, cause the brownie mix do spray it, so you don't wanna fill it all the way up to the capacity of it. Now, after you fill this up, three fourth full, each one, each cup three fourth full, it should yield a dozen, which is 12 if you don't know how to count. After you fill it up, you put it in the preheated oven at 350 and you you bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes and after that you should come out with some ooey gooey black bean vegan brownies oh my god I cannot wait I cannot wait to eat it all up. These brownies not only are healthy, oh my God, they're gonna keep me full. So I get my little sweetness off. And I ain't gotta feel bad by eating it. <laughs> Chocolate is good for the soul. You just gotta know how to eat it. In moderation, boo. In moderation. I'm putting a little extra in these little containers. I know y'all can see that. But anyway, so only thing I got to do now is let it sit for a little bit. Then put it on in that oven. And um, come out. Voila, magic. Now, look at them. Look how good they look. Now I'm going to put them in the oven, okay, y'all? Put them in the oven. Put them in the oven. One, two, there they go. Sparkle my shirt. The green door. Bring my the door. Five and six. Good eating. As soon as it come out, I will let you know. Until then, remember, you can also be on this journey as well. You're at home being bored. Don't be bored. Why don't you kick in gear that warrior lifestyle program? And you can choose out of many options where you can have something good and healthy all in the privacy of your own home with your children, with your family. Eat good. But eat right, all right? And stay healthy while we're at home being bored. <laughs> Love you. Should I say, Miss Juicy Baby?